Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Matt Fryer Golf. So I'm down at Trafford Golf Centre today and I'm joined by Rob. Now Rob um, was the winner of the competition I ran. Was it for 10,000 subscribers? Uh, or I can't remember yeah, was. neither neither can I. But anyway, Rob won and he won a three-hour golf lesson with me. So what we've been doing with um, Rob's had uh, quite a short drive up here, wasn't it, Rob? Oh, only six and a half hours. Six and a half hours. That is dedication <laughs> to uh, getting a lesson. So uh, actually quite humbled that you've come that far. Um, so we've had a little look at Rob's golf swing already. And have you found it interesting actually seeing what your you know yeah, your I tendencies are? I didn't have a clue. I was doing what I was doing. Yeah, he thought it was something different. Yeah. And um, did you, like, before we, you know, now at this point in the lesson we've diagnosed what your problems are, um, we, did you think it was the same things w that were causing those problems? No, no. Clue. Right, didn't okay. Clue. Excellent. So, what we're, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to do some work on, you know, changing what we found happens in Rob's golf swing, go through some drills, um, see a little bit of the lesson actually taking part and then after that we'll sit down at the computer and see the changes and sort of the plan that we've got going forwards for for Rob's golf swing so time to get stuck into it time for this to be turned on you and the, yeah. the pressure to mount no, there's no pressure really <laughs> been hitting it quite nicely actually Right guys, so what we're going to do now is actually take a look at Rob's swing, what we, you know, we saw with you at the start of the golf lesson, you know, what we've worked on going through in the golf lesson and what, you know, we've come out and generally we've focused on 7 iron and getting some fundamentals in place there, haven't we, you know, and how did that feel to you, was it? At first it felt really strange, but then by the end of it it was starting to feel quite natural to Yeah, and, and in terms of like the little drills and, you know, smaller swings and not going, like, making a change like full swing full swing yeah, full yeah. pelt did you feel that those smaller swings were you know easy to implement and you to recognize yeah, what because you can basically on? start to learn what you're trying to do because if yeah. you're trying to do it 100 mile an hour you can't your brain ain't functioning quick enough to get it all in but you just do it slow like quarter swings like i said yeah it's a lot easier to do yeah so. not focus so much on distance more about being like say being aware of what your body's trying to do yeah been you know see the new position so that for me guys you know one of the things that I'd say and it, you know Rob did it really well today when it was like right I want you to do a half swing at half speed it was like bang stop the you know stop the speed stop the length of it and even a couple of them when you said god I even felt like I was short on that when it was halfway it is it is you know one of the things that you know for me as you go and practice now those drills that we've got when you're doing them those are the big things you know slow it down go through the steps, be aware of what it is you're trying to do and you've yeah. got a purpose behind it. So let's have a look at your um, your swing here and as you know as we had a chat about Rob's golf at the start of the lesson, found out you know generally everything that you do is a high ball flight. Yeah. Moves from right to left in the air yeah. unless it was with a driver where we saw like a, a push slice. Yeah. Um, everything other than that like we say was that right to left flight tended to see that um, got quite a lot of heavy strikes yeah. and thin ones so um, it was a case of you know what's causing that and um, 
good. Was it yesterday you played or last, uh, last week? Last week, yeah. yeah. Um, scored 26 points on the front nine, which is absolutely amazing, and then one on the back nine, just yeah. struggling to get it in play and no real clue of it. So um, we had a look then, you know, watch you hit some balls, watch you, you know, go through the bag a little bit to find out what was going on. And as we jump in here, now and your guys will be able to see what we're looking at on the screen here. Um, Rob's set up, everything really good with it as um, from a down the line perspective, good posture. If anything, he just gets a little bit sat into the knees a little bit too much that we can see there, highlighted on that circle. But, you know, as we go through it, I just, just in case he's just standing up a little bit in yeah. those. As we actually look at the golf swing from this sort of position, what we tended to find with you as we, uh, as we got back through the golf swing, the direction of the swing was really nice, you know, as you moved it. One of the big things we saw here was this club face up at the top, very, very short, so the face there looking yeah. up towards the roof. Now, as it comes down, unless you do something to uh, counteract this, we're going to see those hooks. So you try to counteract it, and as we can see here, one of the big things, if I just move this circle to a different place now, and if everyone can almost you know, focus on what we're seeing here. Rob's feet look like he's almost about to jump, you know, if you're about to jump off a diving board and spring forwards, if you watch Rob's feet here now, we see him get into the toes a little bit more, especially with this, you know, right foot really up like a pedal, and even the left foot here now, we can see you're in the toes and not getting into that left foot. So, there's, you know, there's an issue with the transference of weight there. And with this one here, one of the big things as well, looking at his shoulder plane there, there's a lot of tilt going on. And this is why, as we throw in Rob's, um, you know, face on of his old 7 iron, as we see here, you know, the culprit and the, the causes of these things, Number one is we actually see here really, really strong right hand grip. So as he's holding it, the right hand felt like it was sat under the shaft quite a lot. So this is going to cause the face to get shut throughout the golf swing here. Um, and you, you know, you sort of thought your grip was okay, really. Yeah, I yeah, thought it was, you know, nice. Another thing here, ball position, just a little bit too far back, and this was. Which this, I didn't have a clue about. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was normal to you and point out. I was like, oh, right, I thought that's, that's okay. And, you know, it's, having good fundamentals is really key, you know, as you saw just even from changing the ball position and the grip and standing up a little bit more straight away, strike was like. Yeah. Sweet, really true, yeah. you know, no, no real fats, just clipping it off, brushing up it off the turf every time. So what we tend to see is we get Rob's swing up to the top here again, that face here looking up towards the top of the roof. So now, as we see him come down, we see him reverting backwards away from target with this upper spine, so he gets a reverse angle in the spine. And this is why he's getting some height. We can see him trying to hold the face open for as long as possible because it's been in that shut position. He's trying to hold it so it's not going to be going left as much. One frame after, the face is very shut. And as we can see here, like the head's almost over the right foot there and causing this sort of reverse C sort of position and you to be back over, you know, back um, towards the right hand side as we finish. So that's what's causing Rob's. Um, Rob's right shots now what we saw with the flight scope data you know all your paths were all sort of seven eight degrees to the right yeah and then the face being like 10 11 sometimes yeah. to the left on me it was a bit like whoa but um you know two real contrasting angles and always when you get someone who reverts backwards the club is going to drop down and it's always going to be coming more from the inside as we see from Rob here and one of the things you know asked you lower back pain, you yeah. suffer with it when you've hit loads of balls, he was like, yeah, and you can see that on the screen why that would happen. So, big changes really, and, you, and you've taken to them well. Um, I say big changes, I mean like the outcome's very big, it was only basically moving your right hand, wasn't yeah, it? And how we just turned <laughs> in the body, yeah, so as we saw there with um, Rob's hand at the start, uh, very weak, uh, very strong in the right hand, so it underneath the grip quite a lot. Now, if I just uh, put his new face on here, what we can see from those two positions now, if we just put Rob to the start there, and Rob here, number one ball positions crept more just in front of centre, mm -hmm. so everything, you know, pitching wedge upwards is going just in front of centre and moving forwards that way as you go through it. The grip here, if I just zoom in as well to that for everyone at home, we can see now a far weaker right hand than we actually had like a little hour in there. Yeah. T peg anything, you know, when you're practicing now, that's a good drill for you. T peg in, see it's in that right armpit, yeah. not back underneath there. 
that's going to be more of what we want. So what we got Rob doing then, because he was so used to tilting under and letting the club travel out to the right, we had some half swings just here, just getting used to the grip in this new ball position. And then from there we see a far better, more neutral face, hardly any lean coming into it. Nice and neutral and finishing in a far better position. Obviously the, the uh, swing on the left is full out as opposed to this chip on the uh, the right hand side. But even so, if we see you know, the positions here, it's <laughs> <Yeah>. totally <laughs> different. And you'll be able to drive home like this now yeah. instead of um, with no, no real feeling in the back. The feet are far better. We can see that yeah. left foot planted because we're getting the weight into the heel. And as we throw again, like chuck up the um, the, uh, the new swing from down the line. As we see this now going through it, just looks nice and comfy. Half a swing, chip. Looks very, I'd describe it as quiet, yeah. you know, not having to slam on the brakes with the body and really try and hold that face. As we see the face position, really nice. Comes in good, gathers the ball, and off we go. Numbers here on the flight scope started dra dropping to like a degree from inside. Um, hovering down one, one and two into the right and then as we got into the lesson a little bit more and one of the really good ones I absolutely love this from Rob now um, as we can see here we've got something out in front of us this uh, this box with the, the cane in it and it was the feeling instead of that would be where Rob would hit it if he was pivoting back upwards so we had the feeling of the the cone down here that you can see um, the cones that we can see here, I wanted to feel that Rob was getting to feel and get him to feel that you were exiting left, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Left rotation. It left yeah. And, yeah, exactly, rotation, great word. Um, feeling that now instead of it coming from inside and up and out to the right, that it's coming almost from the outside. It wasn't, it was neutral really. But get that feeling for him and his, you know, did it feel exaggerated to you as you were doing it? Yeah, it did. So it felt like I was going to hook it. Yeah. left but mm. it, it didn't it just yeah. Yeah. hit some really nice ones and the good thing you know, is we had a chat you know you being aware and I'm even look at that face position there that's that's beautiful and as we see that compared to let's just chuck that all up and we can just bask in how good that is for a minute <laughs> how well you've done there uh, this can compared to this one I mean look at that it's totally different isn't it? awesome clubs no longer you know really across the line and as I talk to you about like yeah. your right forearm position, you've you've done so well there. I absolutely love that. So as we see the face here, guys, and this is you know a big well done to you here, Rob, because that's that's mustard and it is detriment to all obviously all the hard work you put in through arches with those those little chip shots that you get boring sometimes. <laughs> but if you know you're putting it into positions like that, and we can even see here more rotation of the body yeah, in the back swing. So from there now, you were able to start to rotate. Lovely, great face position. Enters and just far, far better there as opposed to the big pivot. And we see it exiting really steep there as opposed to this one, exiting more towards on plane and using your body as opposed to using the body and then the hands and flipping at it because you're holding it as well. Now you're controlling the re release more with the body. So from there, that's, you know, really really fantastic and really impressed with you know the effort that rob's put in today and done it and you know the good thing is if you're to see some shots now let's say um, you go out on the golf course you're playing tomorrow and you see a seven iron that goes right of target yeah. a straight line struck nice what's happened then i know for a fact that i've either lent, lent back yeah or i've inverted back to my old grip old grip yeah or you could have you know when the face gets matched up to the path it's gone a little bit this way yeah, yeah. you've gone back in the path you know as we saw at the start of the lesson path and face were two totally different directions yeah, like that, like yeah. that. <laughs> as well now if you've got the one that goes to the right a little bit the face is going to be matched up to that path i.e let's say face one degree right path one degree yeah. right so it's that feeling of exiting just a little, bit more, yeah, yeah. a little bit for you you know letting the rotation feeling that you're you know almost pulling it yeah, like your target, yeah. yeah and then from there you know we start to see those straighter shots with you so that's what we've got to you know be working on there and a good thing here as well one thing to point out in this end swing as we see here if you watch your left foot now the weight transfer is a million times better. Yeah. You've seen that one, the, the heel up off the yeah. ground. Here you drove into that heel, turning around it, right into there. 
obviously the driver's hard and we've done some driver work there yeah. and that's you know a work in progress in it and it was more to get like I said you get these get these fundamentals and this feeling of the face to start yeah, with bedding in and you've got you know a really really neutral club face there I absolutely love that and if you can start to see that the path's more more neutral you're onto a winner then if we can get you a little bit more shaftly you can press it he's off 22 at the minute uh, by the way and I don't know how, so if you if you uh, play golf with Rob, I'd maybe make him play off like 18, not to shoot you in the foot, and then maybe like 10 after that, probably I haven't scored 30 in about a year, so... You just keep going, I reckon you're doing like 26 on the front nine, figure you're going to get caught out and go, yeah. oh, I only had one on the back nine. Just chuck it away. <laughs> chuck yeah. it away, but really enjoyed today. Hope you yeah, did, mate. Thank you, and thank you for the yeah. competition. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Guys, I will be doing another one of those probably middle of the year, so make sure if you don't already and you want a chance like Rob did today to come and have a golf lesson with me, um, you're a subscriber to the channel. It takes two minutes to do. All you need is a Gmail account. It's totally free and you can win that and there's loads of content to help your game. Follow me on my social media. I'll drop your uh, Instagram in on, in on there as well. Yeah, so go and check Rob and hopefully we'll see some pictures of you on the range with that beautiful face hopefully, again. Yeah, hopefully. And, uh, Keep me updated on the progress and well done. Cheers, thank well you. Well done, no problem.